So would you give him a nice welcome? He is the, uh, he's the assemblyman, the minority leader, a powerful guy, but a very funny, nice guy. John Bramnick is here tonight. Mr. John Bramnick. Look at me, me and you dressed like two old guys. It's like, hey, hey we're some happening guys, aren't we? Being with Joe Piscopo, that's a big deal, man. Yeah. God bless. Oh, are you Joe. kidding me, man? No, you're the guy. You're the guy. Thank you, sir. So you think all I do is comedy. Not true. I have come up with some of the best laws. They haven't passed the legislature. These are the laws that we need. First of all, I call it the Restroom Act of 2016. The Restroom Act requires that every restroom says men's or ladies. Cannot have a silhouette. Because every time I have four or five drinks, I don't know if that's a man or a woman up there. <laughs> then I have the Health Food Store Employee Act, which is my personal favorite. If you work in a health food store, you gotta look healthy. Because most of the people working in those stores look like shit, to be honest with you. Then I have the Cable TV Act of 2017. If you're going to provide 450 channels, there has to be at least one channel I want to watch. And then, to save money, and I do this for Bill Spadia, because Bill Spadia is very conservative on the radio. Anyway, Bill Spadia wants me to save money. I, got, I have the what I call the DW Act, DWI Cost Reduction Act. You don't need these checkpoints where they look at you and see if you're drunk. All these guys have to do is go to the 7-Eleven at midnight. Anybody eating one of those hot dogs at midnight is drunk. Arrest that guy, that's my thing. Thanks very much, have a great night, man. <laughs>